All right, so this is a uh, suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's Thoughts on Transgenderism. Uh, this is coming from the channel The Ben Shapiro Show. Let's check it out. <sighs> All right, so really quickly, guys, I know who Neil deGrasse Tyson is. Um, I have a couple of his books, um, but I have no idea who Ben Shapiro is. Uh, I think I've seen his face, um, but uh, that's it. But let's go. Let's... I, you know, let's see. It seems like us. the left is militating against the the, the advent. So I'm guessing he's coming from the right. All right, let's give it. Uh, I hate labels, guys. It seems like the left is militating against the the advent of science. One of those areas is is the area of transgenderism. Uh, the the argument that is typically made by gender theorists is that gender is entirely separate from sex. Uh, you, you've seen the argument made that it makes no difference on average if men are stronger than women are and that if we were to allow transgender women to compete with non-transgender women, then this would somehow not disadvantage biological women. And this seems to me... I think a lot of that's based off of like when exactly that person uh, uh, transitioned into a woman. This would somehow not disadvantage biological women. And this seems to me absolutely ascientific, that if we're actually going to have a discussion about gender and sex, that that should be based in data, which suggests that mammals are, in fact, binary in terms of their sex, unless you have intersex birth defects, typically, or genetic defects. I'm happy to opine on this. Um... One second, guys. Gender and sex, that that should be based in data, which suggests that mammals are, in fact, binary in terms of their sex, unless you have intersex birth defects typically or genetic defects i'm happy to all right i was just trying to see where this was taking us guys um where he was going with his uh his talking points here uh yeah guys intersex people exist absolutely um you know they can for the most part decide whatever they decide to be right uh a lot of the times um based off of kind of what they're born with if that makes any sense right but yeah they have they exist they have existed forever they're not new they're not a new phenomenon but i know i know a lot of people think that they don't exist somehow but they do exist uh the concept of of of, of gender and and sex being separate um they are an example of of that a lot of the times at least right um i think there's a um a female runner who is uh intersex and um she presents as a woman, um, but has like a lot of testosterone, right? Um, so I don't know. Um, I think she was also kicked out of the uh, of the uh, the sport, also, guys, or, or or censored somehow. To opine on this, um, this only matters because today we segregate. Okay most nearly all sports by gender that has to happen though because think about it guys for a second you don't want um women and men in the same ring under kind of like any circumstance guys that's just not something that is a like an amazing idea for the safety of of honestly women um when it comes to like super physical things i mean men just generally in general are stronger um than most women, guys. Otherwise, why do you even give a shit? <laughs> what's what well, someone what identifies with? Like this is we live in a free country, right? And with consenting adults and people free expression of who and what they are. Man, I don't love what I agree with you. I, I think it, it does but, matter yeah, what you yeah, children. And, and so there's the there's the the, the matrix of wait 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 wait, wait. hold it on. Doesn't matter what you teach children. One second. Oh free expression of who and what they are. Man, I don't love okay. life with you. I, I think it, it doesn't matter what you teach children. Because he speaks very fast, guys. Um, he's not wrong. Um, you know, uh, both of them are coming at, uh, at this argument super interestingly. Um, I guess what's uh, standing out to me is that they obviously have different opinions. Um, the guy, uh, uh, what's his name, guys? Ben Shapiro. Um, he's extremely steadfast in his... Uh, his point of views and kind of so for the most part, so is Neil here. Uh, they have two varying opinions and are able to sit down and have a conversation without, for the most part, throwing any mud, guys. I mean, we need to get back to the point where we can sit down and have conversations of two, two different ends of the spectrum and actually, uh, you know, get somewhere. Or just honestly, it doesn't even have to get anywhere. 
let's let's just get back to the point where we can have conversations with different opinions without just nonsense being added. Um, and so right. there's the there's the, the the matrix of of you know what you are biologically, how you express yourself, who you choose as a sexual partner. If we actually live in a free country, as we tell ourselves, people's freedom to behave in any of those ways should not concern you at all. Okay. Nor are they requiring that you behave that way. Ooh. Um, okay. I respect it. Absolutely. Uh, we do live in a free country, right? Uh, the United States of America is free, right? Um, you are allowed to be and do whatever you want to do as long as you put yourself um, you know, forward. You should be able to do whatever you um desire to do in life i mean it shouldn't affect anyone until it affects other people um then that becomes i guess an obviously an issue right it shouldn't like whatever you decide to do with your life should not really be should not be affecting my life or anyone else's life but let's see where this uh okay. this is for their own freedoms because well, we live in a free country now what is unresolved here is what do you do with sports it's unresolved right and I follow that closely, and I don't see any, I don't see any meaningful solutions to come down off of that. Um, we know that hormones manifest differently in different people, and have, just the whole thing with steroids. Steroids are hormones, right? And we rallied against steroids in professional sports because it gives you an undue advantage. Right. So, I, and I've tried to think of what the future of sports would be in the world of a gender spectrum. And it may be, you don't specify whether it's a male or female sport. Okay. You just take measurements of what your hormonal balances are. And so you compete based on your hormones. <laughs> I mean, this is thought I had. I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't uh, know where it's going to land. It, but the WNBA won't be in business for very long if that's, <laughs> if that's the case. Would, no, the WNBA would be gone instantly. I get what you're doing here, bro. He's right. Um, but that actually doesn't sound bad. Because think about this here for a second, guys. There are some men, legitimately, um, whose like testosterone levels are extremely low. And then there are some women who have testosterone like naturally that are higher than some men. And you'll be surprised because, guys, some of the men you think that are just super, I don't know, alpha dog, whatever, whatever the, the, common, the common words are now, guys. But, but like whoever you think is like super alpha male, super testosterone laden, right? He may not be, bro. All right, it, it, that's just not it, guys. Right? I mean, a lot of things, um, like in our modern world, lower our testosterone. It's just a, a fact here. And there are some women who have testosterone more than men. So, if you were to base it off of like hormone levels, then that actually may not be a bad idea. But absolutely, the WNBA would be gone. Most women's sports would be gone instantly, though. Um, then that kind of goes back through before when. Right when when um there was no women's sports at all, right? So I mean, um, anything that really I'm trying to th I'm trying to think of like a solution here, guys. I just don't think there is one. Uh, it just needs to be uh, men and women it separately uh, playing sports if you care about sports. It would just be uh, you'd have to you'd have to find some way to compete people against each other. If you still care that sports is an interesting activity, I guess the okay, area good. where it does come right up in, in a non-sports area. Yeah, tell me. Now, I don't would, know. What? So it would be you, you talk in your book about the education of children and teaching children about science. And right yes, now, right. children are being taught about the quote-unquote gender spectrum, which is not scientifically based. That is a that is a theory-based idea. No, no, wait, 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 hold on. People express themselves on a spectrum. So you okay. learn that. That's, I, I, I don't that's, that, that, that's, that's a social, that's yeah, a social sure. point, it, not a scientific point. It's, it's who, Meaning we, we express ourselves wait, wait, hold on, hold on. In, based in different languages. Is that something you teach in science class, or is that something that you teach when you're teaching language? Um, so whether Who's the Scott? fact that people want to express themselves on a spectrum, on a gender spectrum, whether that fact is something you want to put in a sociology class, or in a science class, mm -hmm. maybe that remains to be determined. But it is a real fact 
about real society. Well, of course, nobody's denying that people identify how they want to identify. So, so, so the question uh, is, what I, is the relationship of that to biology? Meaning that I, what, the argument is made that trans women are women, for example, and what that seems to mean is that trans women are identical to women. Now, if people want to say trans women are not biological women, obviously that is the case. But okay. people don't seem to want to say that, although that is obviously scientifically true. Trans women are not biological women. Biological women are biological women. But where are you going with this? What, 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 is your, what, is your, what are you trying to accomplish by asking yourself, is it science or is it not science? It's how, it's but, people in society. But, the, the, but this, is, this is a perfect example of an area where suddenly it doesn't... I kind of wonder, um, again, I've never encountered Ben Shapiro before, so I don't know his overall motives here, right? But um, I, wanna, I would definitely like to know how much is this of, of him and how much of it is him kind of performing for his base, right? That's my only question. Doesn't matter to say things like he sound like like um like he definitely sounds like super intelligent, but I don't know if it's also because he's speaking extremely fast and kind of like sure of himself. That are just true. Like why is it why is it bad or wrong? To uh, point let, let, out? Let me, I have another way to to approach this. Um, I care what is objectively true in the world. Okay. As a scientist. Um, but let me not say even as a scientist. I just simply care what is objectively true. And science happens to be a pretty potent path to invoke, to, measure, right. to find out what is true. And so if people express themselves on a gender spectrum, and that is an actual thing in an actual society... If we have not fully explained that scientifically, that's an interesting frontier to study. If you want to say it's only sociological, then it's the purview of the social sciences. I don't care who studies it. It's an interesting fact about society that's worth learning about. If to, to make it, to fight someone and say, it's not biological, it's just your this, it's, it's real and it's there. Well. Because it's real because it manifests. But it, it, it is okay. real because man it manifests. But the, the question of, the, of how to classify manifestation is a scientific question. Meaning that, for example, there was a, there was a, a woman over at Brown University. Mm -hmm. She came out with a study that suggested that there was a phenomenon called rapid onset gender dysphoria in which a member of a particular group would suffer from gender dysphoria and this person's immediate peer group would suddenly have an onset of gender dysphoria. This paper... Well, I think what he's talking about is uh, shared psychotic delusions. Um, an example of that would probably be uh, your wife, randomly. Uh, she believes that aliens are spying on her and she has to wear, I don't know, aluminum foil hats, right? For an example. Then, all of a sudden, you now... Because she's in like super close proximity and she's so like, again, steadfast in her beliefs, right? That out of nowhere, you now believe aliens are also spying on you. And now you need to wear aluminum foil hats, bro, right? Um, it sounds like he's kind of invoking that very specific like clinical terminology if that makes any sense person immediate peer group would suddenly have an onset of gender dysphoria this paper was so controversial that brown tried to pull it oh also um most likely also the numbers of people who are now like saying that they are something right um that could also be it also, guys, right? I mean, I think that's kind of what he's pointing out here. It's not a bad, it's not a bad talking point, guys. It's uh um it's definitely worth like sitting like sitting down and thinking about, guys. It may be. Um it could be that, right? I mean, potentially, right? It's just bleeding on other people. Like the more you very specifically see something, um, the more you kind of want to be it, right? Maybe. And then was, was forced to re reassign it later. You see this sort of That's treatment That's a different question. What you're asking okay. now is, are there some topics that should not be studied scientifically? Right. No. And no, 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 no. Uh, is there some taboo? And Sam Shouldn't Harris be. speaks a lot about this. Yes. And, I have no idea who that is. Um, I think the concern is, if you study some topic that's a hot-button topic, and you bring scientific methods and tools to it, there, we don't trust, okay. I, I'm, I'm interpreting here, I think 
We as a society don't trust that people in charge in a free country won't try to legislate something that will constrict people's freedoms in the face of that information. I think that's the fear. Well, isn't that... It's a fear. I mean, and isn't that... We don't trust our own ability to govern ourselves in the face of what could be some information relative to other, well, other kinds okay. of things. Isn't that a bit of a problem? Yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it means it's not a free society. It's not a society of free inquiry. That's why I said free. Which yeah. I think you need, ultimately. But, um, yeah. My general take on all of this stuff, mm -hmm. from climate change to gender dysphoria to all these issues, is bring out the science and then let's hash it out. I think that the problem I'm seeing yeah, on a lot of sides is, is... What is your motivation? What, why? Right? Why does that matter? It matters because if you have political power, you could end up creating legislation that subtracts freedoms from people who previously were enjoying the same freedoms as you. The oh, history of that exercise make a better doesn't end well. Then, I well mean, but the, the, the history of which exercise? Bring out all the science and let's hash it out? I'm saying if you bring out all the science and the politicians hash it out, the history of that exercise is a yeah. recipe for disaster. Right. No, if no, no, it no, involves no. discoveries yeah. that put people's Freedoms. freedom right. as defined in our Constitution at risk. But now you're arguing for limitations on, on areas of particular study. No, I'm arguing on... He kind of is. He literally just argued that exact point. That's basically what he's saying. He, I mean, it's honestly convincing, right? Think about it. Like, I mean, listen, if studies come out, like enough studies come out, and then the people that are making all the laws are the ones that are going to be reading these stud very specific studies, then yeah, there will be people suffering um, in America, like seriously, like legally suffering, right? Like systematically suffering because of who they are. If that makes any sense, guys, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, let's see, what, let's see where this goes. We need a way to shield, okay. we need a way to protect people's freedoms in the face of whatever gets discovered scientifically. So I, I, asked, I, I'll give you, I'll give I mean, you, I agree. I, thought, I think that's what the Constitution is for, right. is to guard rights from. But the, we're always I mean, fighting why, the constant people who want rights right. are always fighting others who are saying they don't get the rights from the Constitution. This is a daily challenge on the progressive left. It is a daily challenge, right? Here's an example. I was, I, I forgot how I ended up getting this phone call. It was some magazine that serves the gay community. And they want, oh, I don't remember why, because they wanted my opinion on, um, there was some they wanted my opinion about whether being gay was biological or mental. Right, there's or, that new study that came out, this vast uh, or study. Or psychological. Of, right, okay? right, right. And I said, I don't care which it is. Okay. It, it, find out what it is, fine. Right. But the answer to that question should have no consequence on legislations or laws. Because, for example, suppose, it's, suppose it said it's purely biological, okay? okay? Then you say, oh, that explains it. Then suppose it says it's purely psychological. What are you gonna do? That would be the worst uh, response to that question, bro. Um, if you were to say, like if it's bi biological, okay, right? But if, if you say it's psychological, then you're going to open up like a whole lot of just wildness for for gay people, for sure. Like, there's no doubt that that is a thing that will 100 percent happen. And do now say, well, now you can right. you know, go wrong. to the the the, the reorientation camps or whatever those are called, yeah. where they realign you because they say it's psychological rather than biological. All of a yeah. sudden, people start behaving in ways in society that want to constrict the freedom of expression of who and what people are. And that is a danger. Okay. So maybe there needs to be a line in the sand. Let science do what it does. But politicians keep us free. Yet there's so many politicians that are doing the opposite of that. So why aren't you a libertarian? I mean, that scares <laughs> like, me. Oh. I'm a libertarian. Come over here. Just okay. The, the, the oh. line is right here. I'm Just join me over here. <laughs> it seems All right, like guys. All right. So first time, no, first encounter with with uh, Ben Shapiro here. Um, I think overall, I mean, they sat down and had a conversation like grown men, um, and I respect it, right, fully. 
Um, both of them had absolutely amazing talking points. Obviously, this is his show. He's interviewing Neil deGrasse Tyson, hence the reason why there's so much like open conversation um, on Neil's side. Um, so, all right. But listen, listen, let me know if I should be continuing down this path. Apparently, um, uh, this is basically just a section based off of how this uh, ended here. Um, but if you would like to, for me to check out anything more, guys, I, I will. No complaints. And uh, yeah, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.